Let's see how you can modify a structured tree. Let's start with something simple. For example, a basic Scala structure tree. First of all, you can change the component assigned to any of these tiles. For instance, you can select the second one, click on it again, and select Fractal Lines from the drop-down menu. Let me remind you that if you click on the large dice, you will randomize all, and that is, you will keep the structure of the tree, but randomize the components assigned to each tile. Let's focus, for example, on this one. If I open the Insert pop-up menu and choose the Insert Perspective command, Automatic will add at the top of the tree a group of tiles that provide a three-dimensional perspective effect. You can see that the only parameter of this tile controls the tilting of the image plane. The first two parameters of this tile also provide further controls of the image plane tilting. Because the bottom tile has one output, this structure draws the colors of the images, assigning the different pixels to color values available in the current color gradient. You can change the color gradient manually or randomly using the randomized color dice. Furthermore, you can create your own gradients using the gradient editor. The gradient editor features some intuitive yet powerful tools to generate or transform your gradient. The way in which the values are assigned from the current color gradient is determined by the color shader. And again, you can change the current shader manually. And you see that both the gradient and the shader have an immediate impact on the colors of our image. You can use the left and right bracket keys as keyboard shortcuts to change the shader, which makes it easy to quickly preview the dramatic impact that the shader can have. Let's open again the Insert drop-down menu and choose Insert Global Rotation. Atmatic adds a rotate component at the top of the system. Let's change its angle parameter. You see how you can rotate the entire system. You can also enter an angle value directly by clicking on this A button and then typing a value in degrees. These three menus give you several options to modify the current structure tree. For example, you can select this style and use the Replace drop-down menu to replace it with the Scala one out. And then perhaps you can change the type of two in one out component assigned to it. You can delete a tile by selecting it and then press the backspace key on your computer keyboard. I'll undo this and show you that you can also delete it from the tree drop-down menu. You are encouraged to experiment with the commands available in the three menus, as well as with the relevant keyboard shortcuts. There are also editing buttons available on the side for the editing decisions that are probably most common.